गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज कविता लोटलीकर फ्रॉम भास्कर वामन राव ठाकुर स्कूल विरार टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू अ टॉपिक ऑन टेंसेस स्टूडेंट्स यू नो दैट टेंसेस आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन द लैंग्वेज ऑफ इंग्लिश योर वैकेबलरी इंक्रीजेस वंस योर टेंसेस आर परफेक्ट एंड वंस योर टेंसेस आर परफेक्ट दैट मीन्स यू विल बी एबल टू सर्वाइव एनी वेयर इन द वर्ल्ड विद द लैंग्वेज ऑफ इंग्लिश now let me tell you what is tenses tenses means it tells you the time what is it it tells you the time and the work which we do it tells you the time now i am teaching you english so this is the present continuous tense i eat apple it is the present simple or you can say indefinite term okay and now when we say time now time has three things one is present past and the future time has three things that is present past and future now just now i have introduced you what is tenses tenses means time when you do a particular work at a particular time or when you do it today tomorrow or yesterday or day after that is known as the time so tenses means time and time has three things that is present tense past tense and the future tense under the category of the present tense we have the simple tense suppose i say payal eats vegetable eats is a present tense simple present tense and you have to remember that in the present tense we usually have the s not always but usually when s is there it means it is a simple present tense it then we have the past tense which also has that the simple past tense payal eats vegetable now i will say payal ate vegetable the third one is future tense again future simple or definite it is said that payal will eat vegetables now we come down to the second part of it that is continuous tense now payal eats vegetable is the simple tense now continuous tense will be payal is eating vegetable now same thing for the past tense i will say payal was eating vegetables and future continuous tense payal will be eating vegetables in the same way when i say perfect tense now simple perfect tense when my sentence was payal eats vegetable i will say payal has eaten vegetable now in the past tense payal had eaten vegetables in the future tense payal will have eaten vegetables are you getting it okay now the last one is the same sentence in the perfect continuous tense now in the perfect continuous tense you will use the word perfect tense which is a perfect tense word have as and had so perfect continuous means payal as been eating vegetables now past tense payal had been eating vegetables now future perfect continuous tense payal will have been eating vegetables okay it is very easy for us to remember these present past and future tense the thing is that we need to know when to use the particular word or the helping verb especially usually it is always noticed that students are very good in writing in the present and past tense continuous tense also it is easy but when we give a perfect sentence a word which are the three words we use for a perfect tense now these three words which we use for the perfect tense are has have and had okay now these two words are used for the present tense it is used for the present tense and this is the only word it is used for the past tense perfect but when i say past perfect tense only had will be used when i say present perfect tense i will use only as and have now suppose the same sentence if i take 
पायल बेक्स केक पायल एज बेक्ड केक ओके नाउ अगेन वी हैव टू लर्न द थ्री पार्ट्स ऑफ द टेंसेस अगेन द थ्री पार्ट्स ऑफ द टेंसेस आर द फॉर्म ऑफ द टेंसेस नाउ व्हेन आई से ईट एट हीटन सो दीज आर द थ्री फॉर्म्स ऑफ टेंसेस दीज आर द थ्री फॉर्म्स ऑफ verbs which you have to remember okay now whenever anybody tells you about perfect tense you must immediately remember that has an ab is a present perfect tense and had is a past perfect tense present perfect tense and past perfect tense so when you learn this have as you will never make any mistakes in your grammar sentences while framing them or while changing them if you know which tenses or which perfect word is used for the present and which is used for the past tense we'll just see to a small example of it again with the helping verb now as you have seen tenses is based on three things that is present tense past tense and future tense now do does this is a simple present tense if i want to change this into did if i want to change it into the past tense i will use the word did pile does a work pile did a work pile will do a work okay now if i say she is working in the field she works in the field that works i told you s means it is a is now if i say they are playing football if i to change the same thing they were playing football so we have to take the proper singular and plural words for the if it is plural now if i say children that means it is plural so i will say children are playing in the park i will say children were playing in the park children will be playing in the park now if i have to say the same thing in the perfect tense i told you present perfect tense pail as eaten the vegetable pile had eaten the vegetable why because had will be only and only for the past perfect tense and if i to say the future it will be the same pile will have eaten the vegetables now we have studied about perfect tenses now we'll study how to change from simple tense to the continuous tense from continuous tense to the perfect and perfect continuous tense now suppose my sentence in the simple simple present tense i say she plants roses in the garden now will i write this in the continuous tense in the continuous tense that means it is a progressive tense and progressive tense means ing so when i say i am teaching you so i am doing something right now i am continuing doing my job so continuous tense if i say she she is planting she is planting roses in the garden she is planting roses in the garden see i told you this s plants this is a verb and this verb is having a s when you have s in the continuous tense you have to see that it is written as is she is planting roses in the garden now will i change this same sentence into the perfect tense now perfect tense she has she has planted she has planted roses in the garden so what am i using here i am using the word has present because it is in the present perfect tense now if i say it's the same thing in the perfect continuous tense that means present perfect continuous tense she has been she has been planting roses in the garden roses in the garden now what is the difference over here in this perfect tense this is simple perfect tense 
and here I am writing it in the perfect continuous tense and you must always remember when as comes in the perfect tense but when you are writing it in the continuous tense it has to have a been to it. You must remember this in the present continuous tense for the perfect we have to use the word been to it. We use as perfect, we use is in the continuous tense and this is the simple one the verb which is having the s to it. Now we have seen this in the present tense or we write the sentence. The same sentence how will we write it in the past tense? She plants roses in the garden is the present tense. So here I will write she planted. Why? Because it is in the past tense. She planted roses in the garden. Now we will write it in the continuous tense, past continuous tense. She she was planting she was planting roses in the garden. Now the same thing I will write it in the past perfect tense. Remember perfect and past. You have to remember perfect past means had. So you will write she had planted she had planted roses in the garden. Got it? Now the same thing past continuous tense. Past perfect continuous tense. How will I write this now? She had, she had been planting, she had been planting roses in the garden. Now what actually does this perfect word tell you all? This perfect word tells you that the work has already been done. That is why it is said to be in the perfect tense. That means the work which I have started is coming to an end or it is ended. Now we have just seen how present and past tense have been changed to various other tenses. Now we will see the future one. What is the future one? She, the same sentence we will take. She plants, sorry, she will plant, she will plant simple future. So, she will plant roses in the garden. Continuous tense, future continuous tense. She will be planting, she will be planting roses roses in the garden. Here you have to be very careful when you are writing will and if it is a continuous tense you should have a be to it. She will be planting always the sentence will come with be. Now perfect tense she will have she will have she will have planted roses in the garden. Okay. She will have perfect future tense, future perfect tense. She will have planted roses in the garden. Now the last one, perfect continuous tense, future perfect continuous. She will she will, will is future, she will have been, she will have been planting continuous, no? So planting will be, she will have been planting roses in the garden. Got it? Now I will tell you how these three forms of words have to be changed 
when you are writing it in the present tense, past tense and future tenses. We have just seen how we change one sentence to the other sentences that is from the present tense we changed it to the past tense, from the past tense we changed it to the future and from the present we changed it to the present perfect and past to the past perfect. Okay. Now we will see how the verbs have to be changed. Once you are aware of how to change the verbs for you, for your tenses it will be very very easy. Your sentence changing will be very easy. Now suppose I say the main verb is give. What will be the S form? I showed you that give will be gives. Okay. Give will become gives. What is the past tense of give? Will become gave. Okay. What is the present participle or continuous tense or we can say continuous tense participle you can say you can say progressive. So, the progressive will become giving. Okay. Now, when I say in the past participle she has given me as becomes the past participle. So, she has given me. So, give will become given in the past participle. Okay, the same way for the second one. S form of draw will become draws. What is the past tense of draw? Past tense of draw is drew. Present participle is drawing. And what is the past participle? That will become she is drawing, she draws and the past participle will become she has drawn. Got this? S form of eat will be eats. Okay. Past tense of eat will be I ate. And present participle of I am eating. I am eating. Now, what will be the past participle of eat? She has eaten. So, it will become eaten. Okay. The same way for show. S form of show is shows. Past tense will be he showed me. He showed. What is the present participle or present continuous of show will be showing. And if I say she has shown. See when you write the sentence or when you say the sentence itself the words come out. Now say present tense says S form says past tense said ok present participle or continuous tense saying and what will be this she has said this will become said again ok now the third one go goes G O E S past tense went and present participle or continuous will become going and what is the past participle of go will be gone understood if you learn this table by heart it will be very easy for you to change from one to an another tenses.